China's car industry has been growing rapidly, especially in the electric vehicle sector. Companies like BYD, NIO, and Geely have made significant strides, not just in the domestic market, but also globally. With competitive pricing, innovative business models, and substantial government support, Chinese automakers are challenging their Western counterparts. However, it's not a clear-cut victory for China. Western car companies are far from defeated. In this video, we'll explore why the rise of Chinese car manufacturers doesn't necessarily mean the end for Western car companies. China's EV sector has seen explosive growth. For instance, BYD became the largest EV maker in the world, surpassing Tesla in late 2023. Their affordable models like the Chin Plus EV starts at around $15,200, and they offer significant savings compared to many Western EVs. This aggressive pricing, coupled with strong government subsidies and an expanding EV infrastructure, has fueled their rapid growth. But what makes these Chinese EVs so appealing? It's not just a low price. Chinese automakers have been quick to adopt new technologies and innovate. For example, NIO offers battery swapping services. This allows drivers to quickly exchange their depleted battery for a fully charged one which eliminates the need for long charging times. Now this convenience is a big draw for consumers. Chinese car manufacturers are not only competing on price, they're also introducing new technologies and business models that appeal to modern customers. Companies like NIO and Geely are offering subscription-based car ownership and lifetime warranties, which cater to younger, more tech-savvy consumers who prioritize convenience and connectivity over traditional car attributes like horsepower and handling. One of the most notable innovations is NIO's battery swapping stations. Instead of waiting hours for a car to charge, drivers can simply swap out their battery in minutes. This kind of convenience is something that Western car makers are still trying to catch up with. Additionally, many Chinese EVs come with advanced features like autonomous driving capabilities and smart connectivity, which are increasingly becoming standard. Chinese car manufacturers are aggressively expanding their footprint beyond domestic borders, targeting international markets with a strategic mix of affordability, innovation, and local presence. This global push is a key factor in their quest to compete with and potentially surpass Western car companies. BYD, one of the leading Chinese EV makers, have made significant strides in international markets. The company has established a presence in Europe, South America, and Asia. In Europe, BYD is not only selling its vehicles, but also setting up production plants and showrooms to bolster its market presence. The brand's focus on affordability and efficiency has resonated well with European consumers, particularly in countries with strong environmental policies and high demand for eco-friendly vehicles. Another major player, Geely, is using a different approach to enter Western markets. Its sub-brand, Link & Co., has launched in Europe and plans to enter the US market. Link & Co. offers a unique business model that includes car sharing and subscription services, appealing to younger, urban consumers who prefer flexibility over ownership. This innovative approach helps Geely differentiate itself from traditional Western car manufacturers and attract a new demographic of customers. On the other hand, NIO is known for its high-tech EVs and battery swapping technology, and it's also making moves in the global market. The company has announced plans to enter the European market, starting with Norway, which is known for its high adoption rate of electric vehicles. NIO's advanced technology and premium offerings are aimed at consumers who are willing to pay for cutting-edge features and luxury. China's Belt and Road Initiative, or BRI, plays a significant role in supporting these expansion efforts. The BRI facilitates trade routes and investment opportunities across Asia, Europe, and Africa, providing Chinese automakers with the necessary infrastructure and political support to establish a presence in these regions. This initiative not only helps Chinese car manufacturers gain access to new markets, but also fosters collaborations and partnerships that can further strengthen their global position. However, entering international markets is not without its challenges. Chinese automakers must navigate regulatory hurdles, build brand recognition, and compete with well-established local brands. Despite these obstacles, the aggressive and strategic expansion efforts of Chinese car manufacturers indicate that they are serious about becoming global major players in the automotive industry. 
Their success in these endeavors will depend on their ability to continuously innovate and adapt to the varying demands of international consumers. Despite their rapid growth and technological advancements, Chinese car manufacturers still face significant challenges. The quality gap between Chinese and Western cars have narrowed considerably over the years, but there are still concerns about brand perception and resale value in Western markets. Western consumers have long been loyal to established brands known for their reliability and quality, and convincing them to switch to a relatively new Chinese brand is no easy feat. Moreover, the Chinese car market is highly fragmented, with over 130 car brands vying for market share. This fragmentation makes it difficult for any single company to build a strong, loyal customer base. While companies like BYD and NIO have made significant strides, they still have a long way to go in terms of brand recognition and trust compared to established Western brands like BMW, Mercedes-Benz, and Ford. Western car companies are not standing still. They are ramping up their EV offerings and investing heavily in new technologies to compete with their Chinese counterparts. For instance, Ford is developing a low-cost EV platform to directly compete with Chinese automakers. Volkswagen is focusing on scaling its EV production and improving battery technology to offer competitive models globally. Tesla, which has been the dominant player in the EV market for years, continues to innovate with its advanced self-driving technology and extensive supercharger network. These innovations help Western companies maintain a competitive edge and appeal to a broad range of consumers. Government policies play a crucial role in shaping the automotive industry. China has implemented numerous incentives to promote EV adoption, including subsidies, tax exemptions, and investments in charging infrastructure. These policies have significantly boosted domestic EV sales and helped Chinese automakers gain a strong foothold in the market. In contrast, the US and European governments have been slower to offer similar levels of support. However, recent policy changes indicate a shift towards more aggressive promotion of EVs. For example, the US has proposed expanding tax credits to encourage consumers to buy domestic electric vehicles, with credits up to $12,500 per vehicle. China's dominance in the EV market is also due to its control over key components of the supply chain, particularly batteries. Chinese companies like Cattle are major players in the global battery market, supplying not only domestic manufacturers but also Western companies. This vertical integration allows Chinese automakers to reduce costs and improve efficiency, giving them a competitive edge. China has also made significant investments in EV infrastructure. As of June 2021, the country had around 1.947 million EV charging piles and approximately 66,000 charging stations across the country. In comparison, the US has only about 43,800 EV charging stations. This disparity highlights the significant infrastructure gap that Western countries need to address in order to support the growing number of EVs on the road. However, infrastructure and supply chain advantages are only part of the equation. The success of automakers, whether Chinese or Western, also heavily depends on consumer preferences and market dynamics. Consumer preferences are crucial in determining the success of car manufacturers. Chinese consumers have quickly embraced domestic EV brands, attracted by their affordability, advanced features, and government incentives. In contrast, Western consumers have traditionally preferred established brands known for their quality and reliability. However, this perception is gradually changing as Chinese brands improve their quality and offer innovative features. In Western markets, consumers are becoming more open to trying new brands, especially those that offer significant cost savings and advanced technologies. For example, the affordability of Chinese EVs makes them an attractive option for budget-conscious consumers, particularly in Europe where the cost of living is high. This shift in consumer preferences presents an opportunity for Chinese automakers to gain market share in Western markets. The long-term outlook for the global automotive industry is complex and multifaceted. While Chinese automakers are well-positioned to capture significant market share, particularly in emerging markets, Western car companies have the advantage of brand recognition, established supply chains, and a strong presence in key markets.
Additionally, the shift towards autonomous driving and connected car technologies presents opportunities for Western companies to leverage their technological expertise. The future of car manufacturing will likely involve more collaboration and competition between Chinese and Western companies. Partnerships and joint ventures can help share technology and market access. For instance, many Western companies are partnering with Chinese battery makers to secure supplies and reduce costs. So, while China's automotive industry, particularly its EV sector, is experiencing rapid growth and poses a significant challenge to Western car companies, the situation is not a zero-sum game. Western automakers are adapting and innovating to stay competitive. The global automotive landscape is set to become more diverse and competitive, benefiting consumers with a wider range of options and technological advancements. China's rise in the car industry is impressive, but Western car companies are far from being crushed. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed watching this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel on your way out. See you next time. Until then, goodbye.